<laughs> okay guys I'm telling you right now why I'm running today today I'm running because I'm going to the neighborhood where Usain Bolt grew up it's actually just half an hour from where I'm staying this is the Airbnb that I'm staying in and I'm still in Falmouth I will show you right now the Airbnb but the most important thing is I want to visit the Usain Bolt neighborhood where he grew up it's gonna be interesting I don't know if someone went there before but uh, you know he's a world world um, champion he has like eight Olympic medals this is crazy he has also 14 world champions medals 11 out of them are gold he's still the best of all times in 100 meter and 200 meter and four double 100 meter you know the one that you need to switch with the sticks and everything okay so this is where we're gonna go the place called where he lived where he used to live now he's not living there anymore this is where he grew up the place called Sherwood content so that's going to show you the Airbnb that if you come to Falmouth you can enjoy this Airbnb as well okay so this is my kitchen this is a big apartment guys so if you come here around four people this is the perfect apartment for you so you can see we have this table dining table we have the living room here we have this uh, I didn't arrange my organize my bed I haven't organized my bed yet but I'm gonna do it very soon so this is the couple bed you can see all of it you have here you have here the toilet and everything hey hi how are you okay and we have uh, this uh, bath and if you want to be more than two people so you have another two single beds here in this place with another private um toilet bathroom and everything so you can see yeah man all right so i will put of course the link in the description so you guys can book this place as well and now uh, i will show you also the front door but we need to get the keys okay let's just take the keys all right okay show you this was the backyard now i'm going to show you the front yard this neighborhood by the way guys it's a neighborhood that is um you know secured and everything it's a closed neighborhood closed community it's called here in jamaica so nothing to worry about i mean you're going inside with your car you have an electric gate so basically no one that is uh anyone that is not from here cannot really enter this neighborhood okay let's just uh open this door all right so this is the front yard and it's a little bit windy today you know a little bit i hope it's not gonna affect too much but uh yeah I will uh, take care of the camera as you know me like last time so uh, let's just go guys I had to film guys just to show you the way to the neighborhood look at that crazy jungle here in the middle of nowhere with the river on the side and this is on our way to East to Usain Bolt neighborhood it's crazy how the nature here like I mean and you have this crazy here river whoa this guy almost hit me wow all right so we're getting close guys and i want you to see the view i think this is maybe the village maybe another five minutes of driving but it's definitely getting more and more beautiful as more as i drive towards sherwood content so yeah it will be very interesting to see how this village looks from the inside look what happened here guys i think they are stuck 
Yo, they are not, they cannot move. Wow, they are stuck. You are in a big problem, guys. They are stuck. You know the dogs, when they make love, I don't know if it's the right word, they make love. It's very mechanic, you know, but uh, you know, uh, she like uh, hold very tight and uh, it's closing to make sure that uh, the baby, that there will be, uh, you know, how you call it, I don't remember the name, but they will make babies, you know, that so now they are stuck i think like you need to pour some uh, water on them in order for them to release but uh, they look like they are not that happy from that connection <laughs> it looks like i'm sorry for you guys because she leads now you know when he was on top of her he he led now she is taking them wherever she wants this is how it's in life in general no only also with us with human beings so guys i think i have like around seven minutes yes seven minutes before we got there and the views is getting more and more beautiful so let's just keep going towards sherwood content so guys i'm actually in the neighborhood right now and someone actually told me that his mother and father of Houston bolt still live here so i'm going to their house try to talk with them let's see if they will be if they will be able to talk with me or they will want to talk with me you know um, let's see it will be very interesting I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my luck and uh, let's see you know I'm already here so why not look at that place the ant basically and uh, People come here sometimes to visit this place? Yeah. Yeah? This is your gift shop. Okay, I will try this door. Gift shop also there. Okay, man. I have to sit back now, but... Bless up, bro. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, yo, you're not going to further. I'm going to go. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let me continue with you to the parents' place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Before. Let's try the parents. Okay. All right. After you. So this guy actually showed me the place. This is his aunt place. And uh, yeah, let's try to go and see the parents' house. And man, I'm excited, I have to tell you guys. I mean, uh, I was not sure if they live here, you know, the parents. And apparently they are, they live here, they still live here. So, you know, this is, will be very exciting if they will be um, able to talk with me, if they will want to talk with me. Of course, I will tell them before that I have a camera and I'm a YouTuber and uh, I would not just push the camera in their face. I would ask their permission, you know? So uh, yeah, let's see how it will go. A lot of potholes, a lot of them here. So I need to drive pretty slow in order for me not to have a flat tire here. But the road is beautiful. So guys, this is the house of Usain Bolt mom. I actually talked with her already, but without the camera, because I asked her permission if she are willing to be on the camera. So she told me basically that she is going to live towards Falmouth to the town here, and she will dress up in a much better way, and then we can talk. So I told her, yeah, I'm going to wait for you, and uh, I'm, I'm willing to wait for you because you told me like it's going to take some time. So I'm just right here, just outside the house. And uh, yeah, just look at this beautiful view, guys. What do you need more? It's like a, like a beautiful, beautiful village in the middle of the jungle. You know, that is a beautiful Jamaica. This is how I like it. And I believe that this is also the reason why she still keep living here and didn't move to the town, you know, because what do you need more than that in life? I mean, so beautiful. So I would just wait for her here. Hope that she's going to be outside pretty soon. And uh, we're going to ask her some interesting questions. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer. 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 Yes. So I just came all the way here just to meet you because like I really want to know, like, you know, you and in general, I like to know a little bit about you, Sen. Like, can you tell me how was, how was to, how was you seen as a child a little bit? Uh, you seen was a jovial little boy, you know, okay. get along well with everybody. 
Okay. Yes, I'm very playful. Okay. And and like, when did you notice his talent? Uh, as early as about uh, maybe five years old, when he was five years old. When, when he, he was, was five? Yes, when he started to go to, uh, he started to go to school, to uh, kindergarten at the age, you, you know, preschool at the age of two. Okay. Yes. And he was very tall all the time? Yeah, he was a very tall uh, yeah. baby. Yes, you carry very good jeans inside yes, of you, yes, no? He weighs, it, he weighs um, nine and a half pounds when he was born. Nine and a half pounds? Yeah, wow, yeah. this is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's really huge. Okay, mm -hmm. and, li and like, when was the time that he really became a professional? Uh, he became a professional at an age, I think, about... 14 when he won the world juniors in Kingston it was in 14 yeah it was uh, let me see yes 2002 2002 yes. and he still yeah. lived 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 here uh he's living in Jamaica but not in Sherwood but not in Sherwood but he yes. still lived here when he was when he became like professional yes, yes when he, he, he became um because it's a long way for champion in 2002 he was still living in Sherwood in Sherwood. Uh, yes. Wow. Okay. And like. And then he moves into Kingston after he became professional. Because there is a facility. Because, yes, because of facilities. Because there's no training. When going to school, he used to um, train in at William Nabel. William Nabel. Yes, where he, where he attends high school. And and for you, like, I want to ask you, like, he still come to visit you today yes, here? Yes. Yes, he was here on. Um, on Valentine's Day. Oh, so he not long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it's yes, just like yes, missed he, him in couple of days. Here, he, he's here and abroad for work. Okay. Because he's still, even though he retires, yes. he still has some um, work that he still do with his sponsors and so on. That is still, but like you said, he still like visit you and you still like yes, in a really yes, good whenever, uh, whenever connection. Yes, whenever he's home, he came, as I say, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for us. Yes, so as often as he gets a chance he's here he has brothers us. by the way and sisters yes he has brothers and sisters there is they're running as well or no no no, no they are no, not in sports no. yes one brother is um he does cricket ah uh, he does cricket is yes. a professional not not a professional not a professional still, yes okay and like uh i can still find here friends of Usain that grew up with him in the neighborhood you think like uh most of them are out there's one but he's a teacher so i don't think he's home he's no. oh i got you and yes, the aunt like yeah, i saw like are, uh, a majority of his friends are out are out of the yes, village uh, yes and why did you choose still to live here i mean it's a beautiful place <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. I, but it, it's comfortable i i know everybody here moving away i would have to start all over again finding new friends and so on i agree and with you families are here, I, so. if i was you i would stay here as well <laughs> yes. you know the place yes, is and it's quiet like, and no. look at that like yes. what do you need more than that yes, like just yes. wake up in it's the morning it's yes we are living in the cockpit country part of um the, because if you go further on it's windsor what they is Windsor? Cave, it's of the cave that um, tourists went go, you know, visit. Ah, it's a touristic go. place over there. Yes. Like yes. with the cave and everything? Yes, it's a, it's a cave. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we have a lot of things, entertainment, and we don't have to worry. It's a very, it's recently we started having, you know, people growing up, younger people. So You are very tall, I have to yeah. say. Yeah. Yes, I'm five, you seven. Are, you are, guys, <laughs> look at that. Like, she's almost my height. This is amazing. <laughs> and his father okay. even, even higher. It's been yes, taller. Yes, father is five, um, six three. Six three, and Yusen? Yusen is uh, same. He's about six four or so. Six four. Yes. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, hey all good. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Okay, I don't want to keep you waiting no, because no, I know you you are very you are in a hurry to the town. Yes, yes. Thank you. It okay. was a pleasure meeting you. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, if you want to see your uh, your the video, it's on Coco Boy. I'm a little bit excited. I've, Coco Boy is my channel name. Okay. Coco Boy. Okay. Coco Boy. Yeah, man. Glad how are you, bro? Seeing a Coco Boy. I'm glad I see you. In a yeah. respect. <laughs> respect. Put the video man. on Adrian. <laughs> Welcome to Jamaica, Coco Boy. Yeah, Adrian man. at your service, always ready you and willing to country? serve. Huh? You know my, my uh, I channel? don't know it, but we're going to get to know it now. Okay, man. We never <laughs> miss an opportunity to sell the country. For we sure, never man. miss an opportunity to I do it on all extend my videos, our bro. hospitality to the people, you know? For sure, man. Mommy. Bless up. Nice to see you, Adrian Barrett. 
A.K. Danchin went to school with Usain Bolt, you know, William. Okay. Right from Chilean, the ones here. Right you there. went to school with Usain? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, right. come on out, guys. Uh -huh. Come on out, don't be what shy. What can you tell me about Usain? How was it to be in Usain in the school, bro? Listen, my friend, it was legendary. It was legendary, yeah? He was, he's a very quiet and humble guy. You know what I mean? And Never very fussy. confident. Very confident. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. When it comes to the, 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 the athletics, Okay. Very con he was a sportsman overall because he could play some football too, professional and he could play cricket you know what i'm saying yeah he wants to play f he wanted to play football for manchester for for like for quite some time right definitely, like definitely yeah, yeah. definitely and and it it seems like it almost gonna happen but in the end it didn't happen you know you remember yeah, that yeah but listen 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 man you see that guy he can yeah, do really anything he can do anything he can do anything when it comes to sports as long as he practice, you know what I mean? They should have just give him another shot. So you were with him in the class, in the same class? No, we were in, in different classes, but we were both on the track and t field team together. Okay. You know what I mean? On which team? Cricket? Track and field, track and field. What is track and field? You, running, running. running, athletics. Ah, running, track and oh, track and field. Track okay, and field. so you were running as well? I was doing a little bit of running, oh, okay, okay. but I'm doing this now, so you know what happened. <laughs> You know what I mean? I wasn't that good. <laughs> but right now, listen. Yeah, this man. Is Dweet Tours Jamaica. Listen, people. Whenever you come into Jamaica, you need someone who is confident, who is knowledgeable of the country, who is able to take you around from place to place to all the beautiful hidden gems of Jamaica, like these parts of Trelawney as well, on the Martha Bray River. We're talking about um, Duns River Falls. We're talking about Blue Hole, we're talking about Nigel Rick's Cafe, we're talking about ATV rides, we're talking about zip lining. I'm your guy. Do it towards Jamaica. You can Where's find your phone number, bro? I'll tell them the phone okay. number. It's not on there, to be honest. Tell me you know to the mean? camera. Tell me so to the camera. So my phone number is 1876857755. Perfect, man. Eight five seven seven five five. Thank Adrian you for everything. Adrian at the service. Do it Thank tours. you. Bless up. So what's the name of your thing? Coco Boy on Big, YouTube. Big up Coco Boy. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah man. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. That was amazing. I mean, to find. And she was very nice. I have to say, very nice. Usain Bolt mom, super nice. And I mean, wow. Okay, let's just go and explore a little bit more of this village because I saw like there are some uh, the, 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 the place of the auntie down the wall She has like a painting of Yusen. So let's see if she's there and maybe we can talk to her as well, you know, ask her some questions Because it's look like a like a small museum of Yusen Bolt over there But I mean, I need to go back there to see what is for real so this is guys the house of the ant. Welcome to Usain Bolt April gift shop. Okay, so she's basically opened her shop, but it seems to be closed. I cannot find here anyone. It says like here, welcome to Aunt Lily's. So this is his hunt. And I mean, yeah, the shop is closed. As you can see, it says it's closed. Lily? Lily? No one's here. I mean, if she was here, it was nice. Maybe she could show me the shop and we could talk to her. But apparently, she's not here. So, let's just go to the center of the town, talk with some people. Look at that crazy view, guys. I mean, what is that? This is where Usain Bolt used to live. I mean, look at that. Hmm. I don't know if you know this flower, guys, but this is a very, very dangerous flower. Very dangerous flower. It has a. It's a. It's some in the not in Latin America. They actually drugged people with this flower. This is like the village life of Jamaica, guys. Look at that beautiful place. I mean, this rock here. It's crazy and everybody has his own place here, you know, with the tiles and everything. Wow. Oh, I love this life, you know. The air here are so clean, you know. It's beautiful, it's amazing. I wish Aunt Lily was at home, but apparently she's not. Maybe I will ask her neighbor, maybe he knows where she is. 
mother, man. Okay. She was very nice, bro. Yeah. Very nice. Do you know where is Aunt Lily's? She's not at home, right? No, she's not. Not sure. She's she lives here still. Yeah, but but I yeah, don't see anyone here right now. Yeah, right now. Do, no, did no. you grow up with Yusin? Yeah, I'm from around the next community, but yeah. Ah, you are not from this community? No, the next one. It's same Cheryl, but I'm from Piedmont. Gotcha. Yeah. And and you knew him from an uh, early age? Yeah. How was he as a child, bro? Normal, you know? Normal? Yeah. <laughs> but friendly and, you know? Friendly? Yeah? yeah. And did you notice like he has a talent from a very early yeah, age? Yeah, the man loves to love run and things, so you know he goes. How? Sorry, sorry? He so loves run, so you know say. He loves run from a very early yeah, age? Yeah, so you know say from there. And everybody knew that he's like super fast than anyone else? Yeah, so you know say right. That was crazy, I had to see that. So you actually saw him run when he was a child? Yeah, like school, in high school, school, high school and stuff, yeah. You had like competition in school already? No, but I just, you see him running like from those early days. Crazy man, yeah. that was quite an experience, man. To see that. Yeah. Thank you, man, for your yeah, help. Yeah, Thank cool, you very right? much. Yeah, man. All thanks. Right. Let's up. All right, this is the guy. Hey. This is her. No. Uh, the lady next door is calling her on her phone. Okay. So the next door, sorry. Yeah, my neighbor over there. Yeah. She's calling her on her phone. To ah. See if she's home. And what she said, she she already called her or no, like she's calling her ah now. she's calling her right now, ah that would be amazing because maybe you know more people will come to her shop and then she can reopen the shop after they will see my YouTube video you okay. know, so it can help her you know if I can help why not? All right. Okay, so maybe we will find. Uh... Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is her name? The the auntie name? Miss Kathleen. Miss Kathleen, thank you. Okay, let's go. Bless up. Yeah, How are you? Blessing, blessing. Yeah, blessing, brother. Hey. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah, they are very nice people here, guys. I don't know. Today I'm I'm like having a very difficult time to speak my words, and uh, yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, if we can show the Lily's and uh, um, shop, you know, and maybe some more people can come here. Uh, to um, Usain Bolt village, then maybe she will reopen the shop again. Miss Kathleen, how are you today? <laughs> Did you manage to uh, talk with her? She's not answering the phone? No, the phone did turn off. Ah, it's turned off. Yes, uh, okay. Just take it off a charge. Maybe maybe she has a a son or or a husband that is a no, 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 no? No. <laughs> uh depends this one you know you know what happened to me now. Usually if she's not here she's in Falmouth or something? Yeah, but she go Falmouth. Ah she went to Falmouth. Yes, yeah, so she's not going to Falmouth today. Unless she ah to okay. Falmouth, yeah. So she already been to Falmouth. Yes. So there is no reason for her to go back again. I got you. Interesting. Oh, Dickens. So usually she's just, supposed to be home at that time. Yeah. I got the phone dark up, you know, the flight gone. And I just can't get it. Okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure. You knew also you since, since he was a child, Miss Kathleen? <laughs> yeah, but I, won't, I, don't do, I don't really give information. No I, problem, I no problem. All good, all good. Yeah, I already talked to his mother and to to a what friend of him passing? yeah yeah i already made some some video with her yeah she was very nice talking with yeah, me she is, she is, she is. explaining to me she's amazing woman yeah she is yeah very, very heartwarming uh person mm -hmm. christian yeah christian yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what am i looking for now uh, street and see if i get our street sure so much okay okay i will try it now yeah. okay thank you miss kathleen have a good one all right. Hey, man. Bless up. How are you? Blessings. Have a good one. All right. So she told me basically that even if her car is not here, we can still find her on the way down where my car is parking. I need just to go to the right down because she might be uh, working behind 
So there is a pear tree. She told me she's supposed to be right there. So let's see. I need to wear my hat, you know, because I don't want to get any burn on my head. And I feel like my talking is start to, I'm start to getting it back. I hope I'm right, you know, because sometimes I don't know why, but my brain is not wiring 100% with my mouth. So it's thinking too fast. And then I cannot really talk what I want to talk. I mean, I know what I want to talk, but I'm not able to do that. So I'm sure that it happened to any one of us. I'm just expecting, accepting that, you know, not trying to resist it. Okay, let's take my cap. All right. This is the most important thing in order for me to keep my... All right. So, we already, I already been here. Now, I'm just gonna check out on this area. So quiet here. Guys, it's crazy. It's so quiet here. Look at that place. I mean, what? Maybe you send used to, you know, run on this road. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember already. Aunties, Lily's, Lily's auntie. Okay, Lily's, this is the name. Because I already forgot, you know, forget names pretty fast. So, yeah, you have some banana. People live here exactly like in the African villages and I really love it, you know? This is like the life that we all should come back and live. This is how we should live. You know, back with the nature. Not in those cities when everything, you know, is like... I see, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some sound. Maybe it's her. Uh, so not in these uh, concrete jungles that we live today you know with all these buildings square buildings instead of just living like that with nature growing your own food control your own water everything is under your control you know what you eat you know who you are you don't know what you eat you don't know who you are so she said a peach a pear a pear tree so I think like it, this looks like a pure tree. I'm not quite sure. But I mean, anyway, I really love to hang around here. So I don't really care if I will find her or not. I just enjoy the journey because this is a beautiful place. A beautiful place, a magical place. And I can understand why Yusen Bold Mama, she doesn't want to leave this place. She knows everybody. I mean, she's an amazing woman in the way she was communicating with me. I can, I could feel her, her energy, you know? And yeah, I mean, why should you leave that kind of place? This beautiful place. So Pier is uh, considered to be an avocado, if I'm not mistaken here. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's an avocado. They call it Pier here. But I mean, I feel like I'm going inside maybe too much. Oh. Let's just go a little bit more. If you're gonna find her, beautiful. If we're not, we're just gonna come back on the same way that I just been inside, that I just came from. But for sure, I'm gonna see interesting and beautiful stuff anyway. So let's just take a walk in the village. In the, what is that guys? Look at that. I don't know if you can capture it like me. I'm so happy that I came here, you know? This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Wow. With all the cows here. Why do you need more than that? Look at that. Woo. Wow. Look at the landscape. I mean, this is ridiculously beautiful. Wow. Okay, so this is gonna be my last day in Falmut, guys. I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna meet uh, the Yaman girls. They're about to leave. Uh, for those of you who doesn't know Yaman girls, go check their channels. Both, they're Israeli sister, two Israeli sisters. Y A M A N girls. Check it out. They are uh, YouTube channel is on the rise. So I'm gonna meet them before they leave to Israel. They've been my family for the last three months 
so yeah it will be a very let's say sad moment and happy moment at the same time because i'm gonna meet them so i'm really excited to do that and i'm quite sure that if i didn't, haven't seen her so far i'm not gonna see her uh, but let me just move forward a little bit more and see if she's there because i didn't see any avocado tree but i don't think that maybe oh maybe this one no this is, doesn't look like avocado but this is so beautiful still you know okay mm -hmm. what do you think guys let me know right now in the comments if you think i will find her so i have like three missions that i came here I have like missions that I want to speak with one of the family members of Usain Bolt. I can mark a V around it. I had a mission that I want to speak with one of the friends that grew up with him or been with him in the same school. So I met this guy over there. So another mark, another V. And I actually hope that maybe I will be lucky and he will visit his mom and I will be able to see him or he will visit the village. But apparently he was not so and another thing that if i will be able to speak with another family member of course it will be great especially if she has you know usain bolt shop she can show me the shop around a little bit okay but i mean if it's the destiny that i'm gonna meet her i'm gonna meet her if it's not it's not like anyway i did an amazing walk in the jungle so i don't really i mean i want to see her but anyway i earned this beautiful walk so oh, you know this is how our cows should be just free in the in the field you know in the western world how they grow up today you know they grow in a very bad disaster conditions and this is the way guys you all should learn from the Jamaica and even in Dominican Republic I think they are like that you know so you just get beautiful landscape with cows eating grass and yeah I think like yeah it's it's not here she's not here Lily's Lily Lily no okay I said you know I will try my luck just call her name she respond yeah if she's not also good so yeah we're gonna go to Mobe I'm gonna go to Mobe today and then I'm gonna go to Negril uh, I haven't been to Negril actually just gonna visit her tomorrow see what happens uh, I mean I know a lot of people go to Negril it's a very touristic place uh, because it's that touristic this is the reason that I don't go there you know I prefer to go to the less touristic places as you all know me guys touristic places uh, they are less for me um, I'm not considering myself as a tourist I'm, I'm considering myself as a as a culture seeker I'm looking for culture guys and Jamaica you have a lot of it you know a lot of it it's a very rich culture i think one of the most unique cultures in the world this is why a lot of people around the world are really interested in what's going on in jamaica because of the rasta culture because of the uh, you know the music culture that they have here all of it together makes jamaica definitely one of the and the nature you know what do you need more than that guys makes jamaica definitely one of the most interesting countries around the world everybody wants to know what's going on here okay so we're going back hope that we have luck and lily came back but if not i did my best you know and this is what you all this is very important i did my best guys all right yeah. so i want to see the shop maybe i know like it's not that uh working lately but maybe you know after my video more people will come here yeah. maybe you can show me around a little bit so you are his cousin is auntie, auntie. is auntie how are you today 
I'm giving thanks. Okay, amazing. I'm happy to hear. So you want to show me around a little bit? Maybe we will attract some more people to this village and more people will come to your shop? Yeah, I'm just coming from out the farm, so I'm a bit tired. I saw ah, ah, you saw me? Yes. Yeah, yeah I was looking for you. Down yes. I was okay. Up. Okay, so yeah, I was looking for you basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I couldn't find, like maybe you were under the bush or something? Uh, behind the bush. Yeah, coming up. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I think like I went really down there, like really, really down. But it, the view was amazing. So for me, like, you know, it was a nice walk in the nature. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. And this mountain here is yeah. wow. I mean, you're living in a magical place, really. So in the past, people used to come here? Yeah, they still does. They still does. So why the shop? So why the shop? The shop is not is closed. Yeah, from Corona, I just go back and I was sick. So I got you. I don't. Yeah, I got you. Start any business back here. I get you. Just close up. I get you. Maybe you came with the oil. You know, he, he became scared. Like he said, okay, before the oil, <laughs> before the oil. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely fine. Yeah, that would have. Lose it Definitely. Mm -hmm. So you said it was your idea because before, like you were. Yeah, I used to do um, different business. I used to be a shopkeeper, grocery shop and bar. Mm. So the place was all big, all around. Okay. But then, I after after. The events and whatever. I closed that part off about 2009-2010. Then I started doing closing. I used to just do his shirts. Like I have a heat press machine. Ah, okay. So if a person come and want and I have a printer over there. So I could So you can print. print. What, what do you usually print on the on the shirt like if to his, his uh, anything a person come and his name want his his name or whatever got you would print it so yeah it seems like for a long time you haven't been here so yeah. people still come here to the village still yes, visit still pass through because that section i had rented it to a lady who do tours so she used to be here, like what? From oh, okay. So 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 way. people were coming to her, and all the, and on the and way also all, coming to you. Also coming to me because she was occupying around there, the, the, that side. Yeah. And then. So it I, was part of the attraction, also to yes, see Lily's yes, shop yes, and everything. Okay. Yes, they were coming to Aunt Lily. So. How was you seen as a boy? As a boy? As a as a child? Just casual like any other kid yeah yeah a lot of people say it was very friendly and it yes, was very like very any other humble kid. very beautiful and so i see like you have really shirts here like this one this one and some yeah like some jamaican uh souvenirs and bracelets and yeah all yeah. these was his um, oh this logo. is his logo mm -hmm. okay this is using both logo mm -hmm. got gotcha. you and this one all these was, oh nice yeah. yeah so this is like the michael jordan but they're using bold style it's okay got gotcha. you i like it yeah definitely nice all these, uh, let's see. Mm, okay but you're not importing anything anymore because of the pandemic and all that, yeah. From then, I just ease down and maybe... Maybe one day one it will day be active I'll, again. One I'll, day I'll start again. I got you. But for right now, and my granddaughter who was here helping me out, she migrated, so... She migrated to the US? Yes. I got you, yeah. So, it's hard for me alone to to operate this. To operate this. I so got you. Yeah. I but just leave it until 
until the right time will come. Until the time will change. Yes, I understand that. Lilies, thank you so much. Guys, if you come here to this place, you know, on the way, like you, there is no way that you could miss this place because of the decoration outside and the Jamaican colors, Jamaican flex colors. So if you want to purchase something, Lilies will love to help you with that. And thank you for your time, Lily. It was a pleasure to meet you. Have a beautiful day. You too. And uh, enjoy. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. So, yeah, I will show you the place from outside, guys. As you can see, I mean, it's a little bit of uh, the road here is not that, uh, you know, perfect, but in my experience it just worth to come here you know see the view see the beautiful jamaica i mean the beautiful crazy mountains here and on the way i mean it will be also nice to support lilies I decided to i decided to end this chapter here because i eating i eating i eat here every day almost so i want to give another shout out to this place that you're gonna see what's up guys how are you Good. Yes, I decided to put you in another chapter because I told them that I eat here every day <laughs> and I want them to see the food again. So what do you have today? Oh, the lobster. Okay, I will take the curry lobster. Okay. And how much is that for this one? That one here, so that's two. Okay, give me this one. That one I want. So, with the... Show me. Ah, this is Aki selfish. I will have fried fish. Fried fish, wow. Uh, no, I will take it with the fritters. They are excellent. What is that? Oh. But they, they don't have a lot of meat, right? I mean, most of the meat in the cloths, right? In the claw. In the claw, okay. Yeah. It's like, the thing is with the lobster, you don't have to mess with it too much. This is, you need to like crack it. And start to and like that is the garlic lobster. Wow. So this is the garlic lobster. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the first one, don't like curry. This is okay. This is like wow. It looks beautiful. So for the first one, don't like curry. It's spicy, by the way. This one. No. No, but the curry is beautiful. It's good. I don't. The, I tell you. I tell you what's the problem with the garlic that you smell very. That you become smelly afterwards. Yeah, because the pepper and the curry kills the brownies. Oh, okay, right. this is what do the job, okay. Yeah, because you must have seafood, you know, seafood requires a lot of pepper. Gotcha. So the black pepper. No, not black pepper, hot pepper. Hot pepper. Ideal. That you have in the curry? Okay. So, yeah, today is a good weather, guys, because yesterday it was very rainy. You can see the ground is very muddy still from yesterday I can wash my hands here right okay tell you what because I'm gonna eat my lobster with my hands this is very important you know so you do that and it costs like 2,000 guys I mean this is a very big boat this is a very big lobster and this is a very good price for this lobster so 200 2000 jamaicans it's around around i believe something like 10 dollars to 15 something like 13 dollars this is an amazing price for a lobster and it's delicious guys trust me on that one all right man looks good thanks man uh, I don't think I need I just eat it with my hands right, so cool. thanks okay okay look at that guys I mean let's just sit here all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the fritters on the side this is also so good guys Look at that. Crazy. Mm. 
wow so delicious guys wow mm. I don't have any words to describe what I'm feeling right now the seasoning is amazing the lobster is super fresh and this one the fritters they are so good so spongy mm. I mean really I cannot ask for more so let me just clean my mouth from the curry with that being said guys I think it's a very good ending to this beautiful chapter and you remember what you need to do like subscribe share and of course i'll see you on the next one you know still in jamaica i mean leaving very soon but still here